In this video, I'll give you an overview of the ActiveCampaign Shopify deep data integration so you can sync your Shopify store with your ActiveCampaign account and use the data that you get from Shopify and your customers to inform your marketing campaigns in ActiveCampaign. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. Before we get started with the Shopify deep data integration, let's talk about what deep data e-commerce integrations actually are inside ActiveCampaign. So I'll go over this very quickly because we have this video here that goes into this uh, topic in greater depth, but you can have a deep data e-commerce integration uh, with Shopify, WooCommerce, and BigCommerce. And basically these integrations pull in much more data than the basic information that standard integrations with ActiveCampaign pull in. OK, so you'll get additional data uh, and they'll automatically provide that data in an e-com data specific structure inside your contacts account and with an additional uh, specific e-commerce dashboard in addition to your active campaign marketing dashboard. So I'll cover that all in just a second as it relates to Shopify. Um, but obviously having this data is going to empower you to easily act on this data inside your segmentation, inside your automations, using the data from your customers in Shopify to trigger different automations in active campaign, personalize your content, et cetera. So very powerful uh, to have these deep data e-com integrations. So let's go over first how to connect to your Shopify store. Now I actually have this demo store here set up for Wildmail. And I'm going to go into my active campaign accounts and in the bottom left, I'm going to go to settings. Once I'm in settings, if this isn't already open, you can open the nav bar here and go to integrations. And from here, you'll see your list of connected integrations and you can go to the top right and select add an integration. And you'll see Shopify right at the top, followed by WooCommerce and BigCommerce and then Square. So these are all of the deep data integrations that are supported uh, by ActiveCampaign. And we're going to choose Shopify. And you can see it, it is asking for the name of the shop. So it's very simple. Connect. Click Connect. It'll take you into your shop here. It's asking for permission. So we can go ahead and say install app here. Once that's done, you'll get this pop-up confirming that the integration was connected. You can hit done. And once you're here, you can also hit manage and adjust things like your abandoned cart settings and your sync settings. And if you want to sync historical data, uh, you can click this button here. So we'll hit save. So that's how to connect your Shopify store. Now let's talk about what kind of data you receive from your Shopify integration. You're going to get things like synced order information and abandoned carts, not just the data around uh, the status of the order, so whether it, it has been completed or abandoned, uh, but you'll also be able to use this as a trigger directly inside Active Campaign. You'll also get Shopify tags and custom fields created automatically uh, inside Active Campaign from your Shopify store. So if I open this up here, you'll see this is a test customer for myself. And down in the bottom right, I can say, let's say, uh, interested shoes. And I'll add that tag and hit save. And now the customer has been updated inside Shopify. So I can go back to my contact here and refresh. And when I do that, you can see this here. It's been added. Uh, from Shopify directly. And now I can use that tag in my conditions, in my automations. I can use that to trigger uh, automations as well. You also get default tags like Shopify order tags when someone has become a customer and completed an order. In the past, you had to create those tags and custom fields yourself um, inside Active Campaign to represent the data coming from Shopify. And now it's all coming directly from Shopify. So some of the custom fields are um, order number, like the order, order identification number, the amount of the order, and you'll actually be able to see the data directly inside the contact here in a section marked for Shopify. So of course, I don't have any orders for this customer. It's just a demo account, but you can see all their e-commerce activity 
completed purchases or abandoned purchases. And you'll be able to see data like this here. So we can see uh, in the e-commerce tab for all e-commerce activity, total revenue for the contact, total orders, total purchase products. We can see their order numbers. These pull in as custom fields, the totals do, the date per, uh, for the purchase pulls in as well, and the status. And then it'll show your store number. And over here, it says products, and you'll be able to click that button directly inside the contact and pull up their order details. So you'll see uh, when they made the purchase, I know this is WooCommerce, but very similar uh, for Shopify as well. You'll be able to see when they made the purchase, what the products were, and the total spent for that order as well. So now that you understand all of the information that you'll be getting directly from Shopify, what's possible with the integration? What's possible with all of that data? Well, one of the first things that you can do is to start an automation when a contact orders from your store. So I'll go into Active Campaign. And I'll go into my automations. I'll create a new automation. And I'll actually show you the different recipes that are pre-built from Active Campaign to help you get this set up quickly for the most common use cases. So if I just search Shopify, we've got product interest follow-up emails, email reminder to repurchase, uh, birthday and anniversary coupon email. We've got upgrade incentives, product sales drip email sequences. Here's one when someone purchases, as we mentioned back here, trigger an automation when a contact orders from your store. We could choose this one here and go through the setup. And it says the trigger is set to activate when a contact makes a purchase. So we'll select our specific integration, which is the Shopify store and hit next. And now you can see we're actually using an event directly from Shopify, not tags that we have to create, not anything else that, that we have to do. We're, we're just pulling in uh, this event. Contact makes a purchase. It's a specific event that you'll have access to when you have the Shopify deep data integration set up. We'll wait five minutes. And then we have these additional uh, conditions that we can use related to product category, product type, product name, uh, amount of their last purchase, et cetera. So I can show last product category is x and the product name is not you know y uh, and what we're what we're checking here is to see okay so let's say someone uh bought uh paints they're interested in painting so the last category that they bought was paint and product name in any of their orders in our shop is not uh paint brushes we may send them a reminder email Hey, don't forget to get, you know, paintbrushes. Don't forget to get canvas um, for an upsell. Maybe it would be lessons, you know, to learn how to paint. And we're just checking and making sure the last thing they bought was something related to painting and they haven't already purchased uh, the lessons, you know, to paint here. And then we're going to fire off an upsell email. So this is all possible with a trigger that's made available when you have the Shopify integration set up. Next up, we can personalize campaigns and automation emails with deep data information plus the conditional content feature of Active Campaign. So I'll go right into that email. And this is just a, an example for an e-commerce store. And we've got 70% off shoes, 70% off skateboards. And of course, you can make this whatever you'd like. But the key point is that if I click in, you'll if I hover over this, you'll see that it says will show if e-commerce category of last product purchase equals shoes. And this one here will show if e-commerce category of last product purchased is skateboards. So we're saying, okay, this person last purchased shoes. We know they're interested in shoes. Let's share a 70% off coupon or 70% off discount on shoes again with them because we know they've already purchased from us uh, once, purchased this product and see if we can get them to purchase again. We may also do that with um, skateboards, same thing. They purchase a skateboard, let's show them that again. Or we could switch these and we can say their last purchase was a skateboard. Let's cross sell, let's get them to now buy some skate shoes and we'll show them 70% off shoes. Only one of these will show. It's, it's going to depend on the category of the last product that they purchased. And you can see here all of these different uh, conditions we can use, total revenue, total number of orders, all of this is available to show content specific to that contact, conditional content that will show based on these conditions um, being met by the contact and their actions in Shopify. 
So this is really powerful stuff in terms of personalization, which does uh, increase conversions and, and increase customer loyalty, uh, the amount that they'll typically spend over the, the customer's lifetime. So going back to our list, the next thing that you can do with the Shopify deep data integration is using the active campaign e-commerce segment conditions, uh, which I touched on in the last step, but now we're going to actually use these inside one of our automations. So if I wanted to check here, their last product category or the product name in any order, those are certain conditions that will only be available with the Shopify deep data integration, uh, for additional conditions, I can show you here conditions and workflow if else. So here's an example. If I just search uh, abandoned cart, we can check and see if someone has an abandoned cart, does not, has recovered cart, total value of their last abandoned cart, product count, product name, et cetera. All of this can be used to segment uh, messaging in your automations and send people down the appropriate path. And so a perfect example of that is actually the abandoned cart uh, recovery automation. So if I go back into automations, create an automation and I can search abandon cart and we'll go to the abandon cart reminder here and hit continue. So again, we're starting this automation, triggering it by events happening inside Shopify. So we're getting that automatically from Shopify and we're going to choose that integration. We can choose it for any product or get very specific with these settings. And we do have a, a video on this that goes over creating an abandoned cart recovery automation, both with just active campaign uh, native features and with this integration here. But just to show you um, the, the power of it, cart values, any value, we'll hit next. That'll trigger this automation here whenever someone abandons a cart. And remember the settings for that were back in our uh, integration settings here if i go to manage it says how long should we wait after contact abandons a cart before triggering abandoned cart automations and you can adjust this okay so now we're waiting until conditions are met for up to one day and we're checking to see if their last order date is the current date we're only going to wait one day and then uh, from there does the contact match the following conditions? We can check their last order date. Is the current date exactly? If yes, we're just going to end the automation because it means they already purchased. If no, we can send them the uh, email abandoned cart. And again, this last order date is one of the conditions that you'll have access to with the Shopify deep data integration. It's not um, something that's you know uh, that comes with Active Campaign alone. You have to have the uh, Shopify integration set up. Uh, and it unlocks all of these additional conditions that you can use to make your automations in Active Campaign even more powerful. So those are the main advantages and the main strategies with the integration, it's triggering automations, uh, personalizing campaigns, and then using the um, Active Campaign Ecom segmentation conditions to uh, help personalize and recover abandoned carts. Okay, obviously there's uh, there's plenty more that you can do if you check the recipes like I mentioned in Active Campaign. All you have to do is search for Shopify and you'll see all of uh, the available um, recipes that they have. You can also go to uh, the marketplace and discover even more recipes uh, that they have available for you. So now you understand how to connect the kind of data that you'll receive and then what you can do with that data via the Shopify deep data integration. Let's talk about reporting and what you'll have access to when you have this set up. So I go back inside my active campaign account, go to the main dashboard. You'll see next to marketing, which is the typical uh, default dashboard you'll have access to an active campaign. We now have the e-commerce tab, so I can click that. Typically you'll have uh, reminders up here. Okay. I've already closed them out because I had this open in the past, uh, but it'll allow you to create and save segments based on people who have purchased multiple times. You can save them as a very interested segment, someone who has purchased uh, one time, save them as you know an interested segment and try to get them to purchase again. Uh, it'll encourage you to, to set up the abandoned cart automation, and it'll also encourage you to set up the Facebook ads deep data integration. Uh, so you'll have everything, your, your traffic source, uh, your shop, and your uh, marketing platform all integrated together. 
here available inside Active Campaign. And then um, we do have this video here that goes over this in greater depth, but I, I just love the way that this is set up with awareness, intent, purchase, and loyalty of the customer journey. Um, they, you know, it gives you the descriptions of what you'll be able to see. All of this is going to be pulled in from the deep data integration from behavior on uh, your Shopify store uh, from your customers. You've got your industry averages here for things like cart abandonment rates, conversion rates, repeat purchase rates, just to give you a, a baseline. Um, and then you've got specific campaign and automation e-com performance. You can hover over this to get an idea of the definitions of each one, um, but it's basically showing you the revenue generated uh, from your campaigns. Uh, these are emails both you know, inside normal campaigns that are sent over here using campaigns, as well as emails in your automations. You can check both of those here, attributable campaign store revenue and then automation store revenue. And then below, it'll actually give you the campaign and the um, marketing type, like what campaign generated those results. So you're not just guessing or, you know, it's not just numbers. You can actually see the content that produced those results and uh, try to use that, you know, to, to inform your future marketing uh, efforts. And one just quick thing to note, if you're looking to set this up, um, discounts used in orders attributed to the campaign are going to be excluded from the revenue amount shown uh, for Shopify users, which is a little different from the other deep data integrations. So that's just one thing to keep in mind when you are uh, using this dashboard here. But all of this information really allows you to have your Shopify store data, uh, your customer data, and your marketing sales and marketing automation uh, via you know active campaign all in one spot in active campaign stacked and you uh, are going to save a lot of time a lot of effort uh, and be able to really create powerful campaigns inside active campaign using this data that you're pulling from your shopify store so if you have any questions about how the shopify deep data integration works um, any questions around you know using this ecom dashboard just let us know in the comments below and we'd be happy to help you with that